now lay out grids composition in any visual form or in any visual art such as painting or design or photography is the is the placement or arrangement of visual element how they are organized on a page many designers use a grid structure to help them position items on a page and the same is true for web designers grids set consistent proportions and spaces between items which helps to create a professional looking design if you flick back through some of the slides you will see that we have uh, constructed the some of our pages according to what according to grid look at the way we were dividing our columns and then even the 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 layout we just looked at it is possible to create many different layouts using this one versatile grid while a grid might seem like a restriction in actual fact it is not one it creates a continuity between different pages which may use different designs it helps users predict where to find information on various pages it makes it easier to add new content to the site in a consistent way and it helps people collaborate on the design of the website in a consistent way as well now there are frameworks css frameworks okay and their aim is to make your life easier by providing the code for common tasks such as creating layout grids there are frameworks that do that styling your forms i showed you some of them right i told you to get the web developer toolbar i told you to when you are doing forms also get ideas from formalize.me creating printer friendly versions of pages and so on you can include a css framework code in your project rather than writing the code from scratch yourself the advantages of this is it saves you from repeatedly writing code for the same task and another advantage is that they will have been tested across different browsers so it is there are codes that are tried and tested it's not uh, uh, you are now going to get code try it on this browser try it on other browsers and then now you'll be getting bugs on other browsers now you go through a whole process of debugging as well what are some of the disadvantages they often require that you use class names in your html code that only control the presentation of the page and another disadvantage is that in order to satisfy a wide variety of needs they often contain more code than you need to for your particular web page let's say if you are running a very small site and you are using their framework because they are they are there to serve a very larger uh, a proportion of the of the public you turn up writing a lot of code okay now introducing the 960.js css framework one of the most popular uses of css frameworks is in creating grids to layout there are several grid framework out there but the one we'll be looking at over some of our pages now is the 960 grid system it's available at www.960.gs and the gs can be grid system now this provides a style sheet that you can include in your html page once our page links to this style sheet you can provide the appropriate classes to your html code and to create multiple color layout for you the nicecc.js website also provides templates you can download to help design your pages using a 12 column grid i mean they're going to give you 12 columns you are going to decide whether to put four four and four to get three columns or you do individual to get 12 columns or you do three 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 so you get four columns out of three by joining three grids together three together three together it depends on how you want to you can also decide to do six and then six six blocks and then six blocks 
Now, to create a 12 column grid, an element that contains the entire page is given a class attribute whose value is container 12, for instance. This sets the content of the page to 960 pixels wide and indicates that we are using a 12 column grid. There are different classes for blocks that take up 1, 2, 3, 4, and up to 12 columns of the grid. Each block uses class names such as grid 3, grid 4, and so on through to grid, uh, grid 12. These columns all float to the left, and there is a 10 pixel margin to the left and then to the right of each of them. There are several other grid based CSS frameworks available online. Another place you can get is blueprintcss.org and lessframework.com and developer.yahoo.com forward slash u forward slash grids as you can see it in in the highlighted part of my of this slide. 